Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. Emmanuel, people of God, Emmanuel, citizens of heaven, Emmanuel. Yes, Emmanuel is a Calvary greetings here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, meaning God is with us. As it says in the book of Matthew 1 verse 23, if God be for us, who can be against us? Nobody. We want to welcome you to another Sunday live broadcast service right here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Jesus' mighty name. Indeed, nothing is dark enough, ugly enough, or deep enough to separate us from the love of God. Oui, Emmanuel, Emmanuel à vous tous, dans le puissant nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous savons qu'Emmanuel, c'est notre salutation ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations, qui signifie Dieu est avec nous, comme il est dit dans les livres de Matthieu 1, verset 23. Restez connectés avec nous, téléspectateurs. Emmanuel, Dios con nosotros, lo que significa Dios con nosotros. Como nous dice le livre de Matthieu 1, 23. Si Dios está con nosotros, ¿quién contra nosotros? Recuerde. Gracias por acompañarnos un día más en un servicio en vivo aquí el domingo en la Sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones. También tenga presente que nada es tan oscuro, tan desagradable, ni tan profundo para poder separarnos del amor de Dios. People of God, Merry Christmas to you and a Happy New Year in advance in Jesus' name. Oui, peuple de Dieu, joyeux Noël a vous tous. Et bonne année en avance dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Et rappelez-vous que rien n'est trop mauvais, rien n'est trop laid pour vous séparer de l'amour de Christ. Feliz Navidad et feliz Año Nuevo desde ya en el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Your situation does not surprise Jesus. You will live again. You will be healed, delivered and saved again. Your dreams of many years are not lost. Trust Jesus Christ, the Father of dreams. He will not only give you a new dream, but he will command all your dreams of many years to come to pass by his mercy and grace in Jesus' mighty name. Rappelez-vous que vos rêves de plusieurs années ne sont pas perdus, mais par sa grâce et sa miséricorde, il revivira vos rêves et vos visions dans le nom puissant de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Tu situation ne surprende à Dieu. Seras nuevamente libérado, sanado et bendecido. Les sueños de muchos años atrás no simple, no nuevamente vendrán a la vida, sino que Dios traerá nuevos sueños. Y él también puede ordenar que tus sueños regresen bajo su gracia y misericordia. A new dream of prosperity, abundant blessings, good health, victory, success and salvation awaits you today in Jesus' mighty name. Oui, un nouveau rêve de victoire, de réussite, de bénédiction vous attend encore aujourd'hui dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Sueños de libération, prospérité, éxito, bendición, sanación, están esperando por ti en el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Let us all rise up on our feet as we reverence our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As the Bible says in the book of 2 Samuel 22 verse 47, The Lord lives. Praise be to my rock. Exalted be my God, the rock, my Savior. None can be compared with him. He is without pair, comparison or without equal. Let's bless his holy name. Maintenant, bénissons le saint nom de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, comme il est dit dans le livre de 2 Samuel 22, que notre Seigneur vit qu'il est le rocher de notre salut. Pongámonos en pie y reverenciemos a nuestro Dios, así como lo dice en el segundo libro de Samuel 22, 47. Vive Jehová y bendita sea mi roca y engrandecido sea el nombre del Dios de mi salvación.
Jesus' mighty name we worship. Jesus Christ tactically told Nicodemus how much he needed to be ushered into the kingdom of light as a sinner in that book of John 3 verses 5. All of us, no matter how we've conditioned ourselves from childhood, we need to admit that we are sinners in need of divine forgiveness. You need to cast aside your garment of your sinful nature, self-sufficiency or self-righteousness. The way to forgiveness is the way to success. So let us open up our hearts and ask God to forgive us of all our many sins and give us that special grace to forgive anyone that has sinned against us. Prayer. Oui, maintenant, c'est le temps pour nous de reconnaître nos péchés devant notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Tout comme Jésus a dit à Nicodème comment entrer dans le royaume de lumière, en abandonnant nos péchés, car nous sommes tous pécheurs dans le besoin du pardon, dans le besoin du salut. Donc maintenant, reconnaissons nos péchés et aussi pardonnons à tous ceux qui nous ont offensés. Alabado sea el nombre del Señor. Como Jesús le dijo tácticamente a Nicodemo que debía estar en el reino de la luz, así como lo dice en Juan 3.5, no importa de dónde vengamos, todos necesitamos ser perdonados porque somos pecadores. Necesitamos dejar atrás nuestra naturaleza pecaminosa, autojusticia y autosuficiencia. También debemos perdonar porque recuerde, el camino para el perdón es el camino para el éxito. Son of David, have mercy on me. Let your mercy, let your mercy. Speak for me, your divine favor, your divine favor. mighty name we pray. It is time for us to come in the mighty hands of God. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 18 verse 20, where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. So let us ask God to speak mercy and strength into the lives of the ministers of God as they come into our midst with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Prayer. La parole de Dieu déclare que là où deux ou trois sont assemblés en mon nom, je suis au milieu d'eux. Demandons maintenant au Seigneur Jésus de prononcer sa miséricorde sur les ministres de Dieu qui seront là aujourd'hui pour administrer la puissance de sa prière, la puissance de la bénédiction, de la guérison, de la délivrance aujourd'hui même. Alabado sea Seigneur. Pongamos este servicio en las manos de Dios, así como lo dice la Biblia en el libro de Mateo 18-20, porque cuando hay dos o más reunidos en su nombre, ahí estoy yo. También oremos por los ministros de Dios para que Él les fortalezca mientras ellos ministran el fuego del Espíritu Santo. You are holy, holy, you are holy, you are holy, Lord, you are holy. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
We are constantly under his protection and care. The power of heaven is behind us and backing us up. So in everything, we will overcome through divine power in Jesus' mighty name. Nous savons que nous sommes constamment sous sa protection quand nous avons là toute la puissance du ciel qui nous soutient. Nous savons que nous allons vaincre dans le puissant nom de Jésus-Christ. En el nombre de Jésus oramos. Siempre nous encontramos bajo su protection, bajo el cuidado y los poderes del cielo. Están de nosotros, detrás de nosotros para respaldarnos. Y así podamos superar todas las situaciones en el poderoso nombre de Jesús. People of God, tell your neighbor, relax. Start talking of the hope of glory instead of your situation. Maintenant, dites à votre voisin, relax ce soir, commence à parler de l'espoir, de la gloire, ou de parler de ta situation. Hijos de Dios, dígale a su vecino, relájese, déclare esperanza y gloria en vez de su situation. Indeed, there's something far more important than your situation, your dream and your goal. So let your dream be your guide. As you stay connected with us on Emmanuel TV, you will be wired in a unique way in Jesus' name. Let's put our hands together for Christ Jesus. Nous voulons vous rappeler qu'il y a quelque chose de beaucoup plus important dans votre vie, qui est le, votre rêve et votre vision. Et nous prions que Dieu accomplisse cette vision dans le puissant nom de Jésus-Christ. Siempre hay algo más que su situación, su meta o su sueño. Permita que sus sueños sean la guía. Mientras está conectado con nosotros y enlazados, tendrá el camino verdadero en el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Say good morning. Put your hands together for Jesus. Say good morning. It is a new one. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let us lift up our hands and worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. What a God we have to worship. What a son we have to praise. What a future lies before us. Lift up your hands in worship. Let us continue to reverence God. We know that many of us have come with burdens in our heart. But there's never a problem Jesus cannot solve. Never a burden he cannot bear. Never a friend like Jesus. Wherever you are, give him all the worship. Lay your burden at his feet. Heaven and the earth can be 
the God of heaven and the earth can be yours, can be yours, oh, can be yours, Jesus, we give you all the praise and the power. up your hands and worship. God is the God on the mountain and he's still God in the valley. He's never changing. He's a constant God. We give you all the praise, Jesus. Life is easy when you're wrong.
but things change when you're down in the valley but don't lose faith cause you're never alone cause you're never alone for the God For the God on my mountain, He will be God in my valley. When things go wrong, I know He'll make them right. For the God of my good times, He'll be God. The God of my day, He's still God in my night. You know what happened to the children of Israel? In that book of Exodus, the Bible says that when they were moving, 
the presence of the Lord was with them. It was a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. The children of Israel, they moved for 40 years in the desert. And the Lord was with them. The presence of the Lord was with them. He is still God. Whatever circumstance may befall us. Like the man of God said, if we cannot control our circumstances, we can control our attitude. For a man of faith is driven by Christ's spirit of hope for a better future. Therefore, that is why we say the best is yet to come. Come on, people of God. Let us stand in faith right now and sing this song from the depths of our hearts. For the Lord hears us. His presence is here. Let us confess our faith. Remember the Bible says that if we have faith as small as a mustard seed, we can move mountains. For the God of my mountain, say to yourself, is still God in my valley. When things go wrong, He'll make them right. For the God. God of my day is still God in my night. One more time. For the God of my mountain is still God in my valley. When things Still God in my bed. 
Come on, lift up your hands and magnify the name of the Lord.
have nothing to say, just say, is with us in the living word. Amen? We can take our seats. If you would like to visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations, log on to our website www.scoan.org Go to the Visit Us page and for those from within Nigeria you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website 
for those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address. Info at scoan.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel. God with us.